So you're setting up a brand new studio space and you're looking at backdrop options. But which do you go with? Paper? Muslin? What's the difference? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, today you'll learn the difference between paper and cotton muslin backdrops, as well as the pros and cons of each, so you can go out and choose the right option for you. I've broken this comparison down into several categories for us to compare. Setup, storage and portability, lighting, durability, cost, and color options. I'll put a time code link for each of these down below in the description, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more comparisons just like this one. All right, let's get into it. Number one, setup. In terms of setup on a standard backdrop kit, this one has to go to paper rolls, hands down. You simply slide it onto the crossbar, unroll it, and you're done. You can move on to lighting immediately. And if you have a multi-backdrop wall mount, you can rig up several different backdrop colors and quickly and easily switch between them. Just roll one up, roll the other down, and you're good to go. The muslin, on the other hand, requires a bit more work. Because cotton is susceptible to creases and crinkles, you need to spend a bit of time ironing those out with a portable steamer. And this can take anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes before you're ready to shoot. You may also need to use small clamps to further stretch that muslin out to get that perfect seamless look. So paper is the clear winner in this category. Number two, storage and portability. For this category, we look at how easy it is to transport and store each backdrop. A full paper roll is definitely the most unwieldy of the two at 2.7 meters in length. Something this long isn't the easiest thing to store, and it requires a medium or a large size vehicle to be able to transport it. If you're stuck with a hatchback, then you're plain out of luck. You can get half paper rolls, which are a bit shorter at 1.38 meters, but this tends not to be quite wide enough for most video applications. Muslin backdrops, on the other hand, can be easily folded up and transported in a small tub or a bag. So they are the clear winner here. Number three, lighting. When it comes to lighting, both options are fairly similar, but paper does have one glaring disadvantage. Sorry, couldn't help it. Paper tends to be much more reflective than muslin, so can require a bit more work. This becomes really noticeable on darker colors like black or navy. For my taste, I prefer a more matte look, so muslin is the winner for me. Especially if you want that black void look, the way muslin absorbs light is much easier to deal with in my opinion. Number four, durability. If you get a nice thick 150 or 170 GSM pro grade muslin, then they last for ages. If they get a little bit dirty, you can just throw them in the wash and then they're good to go again. They're also much more resistant to holes and tears. Paper on the other hand is much easier to mark and easier to damage. I essentially treat our paper rolls as an expendable. Once they get marked or damaged or dirty, then you don't have much choice but to cut the roll and pull down the next section. This also leads into point number five, which is cost. Not only do paper backdrops have that higher initial price point, but they also have that ongoing cost over time. Paper rolls cost on average between $100 and $120 Australian plus shipping. But unless they're in a pristine studio environment, then you also need to factor in having to replace them down the line. A pro-grade muslin backdrop, on the other hand, comes in at around $90 to $100 plus shipping, and unless something unexpected happens, should last much longer than paper. So it takes out this category as well. Number six, color options. If you have a specific color in mind for your videos or your branding, then paper may be the only way to go. Muslins are available in most standard backdrop colors, like black, white, blue, and green. But if you're after something a little bit more nuanced, like pale peach or tan, then paper has significantly more options available. So paper wins out this category and may be the only option for some people. Now, all that being said, which would I choose? For me personally, muslins suit my needs better than most paper rolls. Now, that being said, if I were building out a studio with permanent backdrops that I wanted to be able to roll up and down quickly and easily, particularly if I wanted lighter colors, I would probably go with paper in that instance. For everything else though, particularly if you need something portable, muslin is my go-to choice. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did and you'd like to see more videos just like it, make sure to hit like to let us know and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. Let us know down below which option you'll be going with 
And if you have any questions regarding backdrops, put them down there as well so we can help you make the right choice. Have a wonderful day guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.